probably on every nothing fancy project shooting I am going through about just depends on the calibers maybe around four hundred dollars of ammo per shoot especially if I'm doing a lot of this oh yeah that stuff is expensive 1911 sitting in the pouch stay subscribed you'll see that review coming up it's going to be running Kimber 10 rounds Wilson combat eight rounders PMC ammo maybe some blazer as well uh, I hope to do more GHP data points for you guys as time goes on I'm talking jacketed hollow points they're so expensive though you know it's hard for me to spend the money on them to be honest with you it's just outrageous so mostly FMJ data points got some Winchester white box there been running some interesting guns today really fun runs Ran that magazine out of a 17, some carbines, you'll see that coming through. TMP barricade in the front there with our garbage bag. Here's our tarp. Nothing fancy gear bag sitting out there. One of my chest rigs. This one's set up for Serpa. So when I'm running a Serpa holster, I'll just slam this one on. There's a, the soft armor inserts from Diamondback Tactical. I always run those. Uh, I gotta be honest, one reason I do is in case the dude I'm shooting with is careless and he sends a round into my chest, it'll save my life. <laughs> Most everybody I shoot with is very safe, but you just never know. I've seen some crazy stuff in my years of shooting. Let's see, we got an AT-94 by uh, American Tactical Imports sitting over there, hope to run that. And let's go say hello to my crew member for the day, Crockett 20. How you doing, bro? Good, I talked nothing into sitting down for a minute <laughs> true that is a true statement yeah <laughs> we have had no breaks it is currently 5 30 in the afternoon what time did we get out here we probably weren't ready to start shooting until about 1 p.m maybe no earlier than that about 12 30 maybe yeah and it's just been straight straight shooting yep. between camera runs and gun runs uh no time we don't sit around out here mm -mm. and when you have two dudes it, it goes fast because I don't, I'm not entertaining. It's just one run after another. You're either cameraman or you're the gunman. Mm -hmm. Been fun though. Good times, huh? That trench warfare is a fun drill. That is fun. Uh, if you guys have watched it before, you know we're exactly what we're talking about. If you're new to the Nut and Fancy project, it's a drill I came up with to test handguns and carbines, pistol variety. You run down this trench about 125 yards uphill engaging steel plates of various distances, various sizes, some offhand, weak hand. We're not teaching tactics out here, we're just testing gear, but it's it's kind of a good way to train too, eh? Yeah, it is. It is, especially when you go through baubles and stuff, just to you know, mentally clear those things and realize what you're doing right, realize what you're doing wrong. It's fun. Did your gerbil scratch your forehead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I won't. <laughs> that gerbil, man, I swear, that guy, he's got attitude. I would pitch him. I would take him to SPCA if I were you. Yeah, he's he's got a little spunk in him. Samson, right? Samson. <laughs> you gerbil. <laughs> he's got long hair, too. Yeah. Crockett's been doing some good shooting for me today. I appreciate him coming out. It's fun having him. We go backpacking together. We go shooting together. We're basically friends, just kind of... Knocking out some TMP stuff once in a while. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I appreciate you coming out, bro. Yeah, thanks for the invite. It's fun. Love having you. And it doesn't matter what it is. I always enjoy hanging out with Crockett. It don't matter what we're doing. Uh, he and I really love the out of doors. This stuff right here. We love it. Okay, I got a question for you, Crockett. Mm. What would you rather be doing? Doing this? Or we're into one of our favorite areas backpacking. Ooh. That's a tough question, ain't it? That is a tough question. It is awesome. You know, I think backpacking probably trumps it for me. Does it? Okay. But what I find in life is is variety is key. Yeah. So it's nice to switch it up and do other things. Yeah. And it just it kinda gets boring doing the same thing over and over and over again. You're you're not flexing into that sexual preference talk that you've given me like a dozen times again are you no you're talking just between shooting and just, backpacking just hobbies 
Whew, good. I've heard that speech a few times. I get it. You like mixing it up. We got a lot more runs to do, dude. You ain't done yet. No. We've burnt through some ammo, though. Oh, lots of it. That's what I've, I started the video off with. Yeah, mucho ammo shot. Those nines cruise through it. I mean, yeah. per run on the trench run, guys, and by the way, those aren't targets for the trench. Those are something else. They're above the trench. Hope to use them later. The other ones are down in the trench. You can't really see them. On each run, 35 to 40 rounds every run. So basically a box of ammo every time you run down that trench. You know, I haven't bought 45s in a while, and I picked up that box of 100. Did you oh. feel raped? Yes, I did. And that's the cheap stuff. It's ridiculous. That's what I said in my 1911 philosophy of use fit. It's just the downside is economy, man. That is yeah. an expensive round to shoot. Yep. Reload it, great, you're saving money, but you gotta make time, it's still expensive yeah. for the reloading components. Yeah, it's too big. I love shooting 1911s. Oh, it's so fun. But the price, I, I rarely do anymore. And I was thinking too, you know, I talk to the reload thing occasionally. And guys might say, well, you need to shoot reloads more. Uh, I understand that, but here's a downside, is that it's really not a data point for the audience. Because if I say, I could tell you what the load was, but there's so many variables, the case you used, how many rounds did the case, or how many times was it shot. You know, all these variables, it's better if I use a factory load, and then I can say that in my tabletop. This is a factory load I used. You can replicate that or expect the same performance with you. That's the upside of shooting factory ammo out here. The downside of course is cost. <clears throat> Yo. May change in the in the future though. Get a sponsor or something. That would be nice for you. Yeah. We've seen some funky stuff on the guns today, huh? Interesting things. Interesting. A yeah. couple jams that we weren't expecting. We saw one magazine where the rounds went completely vertical within the magazine as it was loaded. Yeah. <laughs> a pistol mag, a mech gar. You'll see that broken out when it's time to tabletop them. Guns I really like, by the way, if you guys didn't know this, I shoot them a lot before the tabletop review. Um, that's just the way it is. Or guns that I feel are very important and warranted, I'll take them out on maybe four, maybe five outings, and that takes a long time to do. But personally, I feel better because I feel like I've given the gun a good chance to prove itself in a lot of different environments. What we're doing today with Trench, and what I love about Trench is that it's a fast shooting pistol course. And there's a lot of opportunities to get your heart rate up. Just running, there's a lot of opportunities. Oh, yeah. The exercise kills you. Yeah. And then the heat. I mean, running up there, that's, that's one thing that's tough. Gets the blood going and everything. Yeah. But the heat out here, oh, that really gets to you. It saps you. Yeah, it does. We're down in the water, down in the Gatorade. Um, I like the drill though. There's lots of opportunities for dicking it up and, and showing what. Like, oh, here's a data point. We're running the Keltec Sub 2K out here. I go to the first stage. I'm shooting, bam, 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 and then it doesn't shoot anymore. And I'm thinking, well, stoppage, you know, top rack assess drill, whatever. That doesn't cure it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, what's going on? And it dawns on me the cross bolt safety was moved a micro inch. And just moving that safety just a slight amount takes the gun out of battery and it will not fire. And visually it doesn't look much different. Right. It looks about the same. The red's still exposed on the cross bolt safety. You think you're good to go, you're not. Just because you just barely moved that safety. You know, try to find that out at the range. It's kind of hard. You got to get your hands moving around the gun, running, doing that kind of stuff. You know, for me too, I, I don't know if I have a good analogy for it, but feet per second. shooting at the at the range, it's okay. But coming out here and just and and putting that to be extra dimension of running around is is a lot of fun. I mean, it just brings a lot of depth into the shooting. Yeah, you know, just, totally. I mean, if you want to talk just sheer fun level, I mean, that alone is just so much worth it. I know a lot of guys don't have that ability too, which is too bad. But. Yeah. We're blessed with the areas that we go to, the properties that are opened up to us and we're given permission to shoot on. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'll tell you what though, you feel like you've invested your ammo out here too. Yes. Especially when it's on camera and you can reference it. And I think you're saying you watch, you can watch your runs and go, man, you know, what was I doing in that run? Right. Yeah. You said, whoa, I need to work on that. Yeah. It shows you what you're doing well. I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I always talk about 
value for your ammunition. And I think this gives a lot of value for your ammunition. Totally. It tells you a lot. Yeah. And then taping it, you can go back and rewatch it, like mm -hmm. we were just saying. And yep. We're medium skill level shooters out here. I've always said that. There's lots of great pistol guys out there. My job as a reviewer is to represent the system well and accurately. And I, I generally won't do my tabletop unless I've done my best at that. Depends on the gun. You know, if it's a gun that I don't really care about, I don't really like, I may shoot it once and call it good. <laughs> That's just it. <laughs> it won't mean I'll give it a biased review. I'll still give it a fair review, but what it means is I'm not willing to devote you know, hundreds of dollars of TMP money in buying that ammo to test it. Yeah. Because I don't like it enough. You know, I've got 12 guns over here that I do like that I'd much rather spend the ammo on than a gun over here that I freaking hate. Right. So, yeah, I have my preferences. That's why people tune into TMP because they know I got preferences. And that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, why are you going to invest in something that's meh when you've got all this other stuff over here that's really good stuff yeah. to test? Would makes you sense. go out and buy a $100 steak dinner? At Ruth Chris for a chick you know you're not going to marry. <laughs> right. Are you insane? That's like money thrown out the window. Yeah, that's, that's McDonald's, right? That's McDonald's. Dude. Yeah, I already know what guys are saying in the comments from that. I'm not even going to go down that road. <laughs> well, it depends on what you're getting in return. Yeah. This is a family show, guys. Back up. <laughs> Step off. We're not like that. You're like that, but we're not. At least not that we show you on camera. Those are off-camera discussions. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. Are you about rested up there, Grandpa? I am. I'm waiting on Let's you. Let's rock. We're, We're the one that wanted to stop and drink a Mountain Dew. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not even. He's like, please, please, can we take a break? And then I sit down. I don't even have it open yet. He's like, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, it's so hard for us to hook up and come out here, you it know? Is. It's like... We've got literally 20 guns in the truck that need running. Data points, and I like Crockett, uh, one of my crew members to shoot it, either Crockett, PFI dude, PFI dad, to shoot it and get another perspective. I like that. It's, to me as a reviewer, it's, it gives me more data to work with. It's interesting, you know, because well, uh, you guys may figure out something I missed, maybe something you hate that I love or vice versa that is interesting, that provides interesting data. I like to be fair to all the all the things I review. I want to be fair. I'm not going to lambast something unless I have a good reason to do it. Every manufacturer should know that I'm, I'm going to give them the straight skinny. But if you suck out here, the world will know. Yeah. I'm talking the gun. Good job. We had a One CZ minute. just choke on us. Yep. Failure to go into battery on FMJ ammo. Have you ever had anything that runs 100% out here yet? I've seen every gun jam out here. One more. Every make of gun has had problems out here. Sigs, Glocks. I will say the Sigs and the Glocks rarely have issues out here, but they do have issues once in a while. XDs, XDMs have had issues. There's not a make out here that haven't had. It depends on what you call a problem. A failure to go into battery, you know, something like that. I dropped my Glock 34 in the dirt and it got a rock in the top end of it and it jammed. <laughs> Imagine that. It doesn't work with a boulder in the top. Uh, I would say, and this is what I said and I started the Nut and Fancy project off with, I'll trust my life to SIG and Glock. Mm. I just find them to be the most reliable. Flat out. Doesn't matter the load. XDs, XDMs are up there these days too. The Smith & Wesson MP9s are great. I've seen some choke out here though. Yeah. I got a long slide, a Pro, that's in the, and it's failed to go, go into battery a couple times. Blazer. Yeah, this is kind of telling out here. I don't know what it is about these courses, but if it's going to jam, it will jam out here. No, I don't Rifles know. too, carbines, you bet. I see all the problems. When I was putting on that sunscreen, I mean, I could just feel the, the dirt just cake the dust yeah. on my face. You know, I wonder if that gets in there and I hope it problems. does. I don't know. I hope it does. I hope the dust just gets in all those internals. It's all the better of a data point for me. None of the guns we're shooting today have been pre-cleaned. Several 1911s. Actually, I got one, I guess, with me today. Let's go run that sucker. Let's run it. I'm ready. Over and out. This has been a nothing fancy, unscripted update video. 
from my field of operations with Crockett 20. See you guys.